This time on the Quick Speed Shop, I got dry rotted valve stems on the wheels of my trailer. So we're going to take the wheel off. We're going to try to use a jack to break this tire down and change out these valve stems. Ow! Damn it. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. So first thing I'm going to do is bust these lug nuts loose. They should come right off here. Oh yeah. No problem. Luckily it's not 10 degrees out like it was yesterday. It's about 22 right now. Better than nothing. I got my trailer tire off. We're going to take the valve stem tool, we're going to let the air out of the tire, and then we're going to use a jack and try to push down this bead and break this bead with the weight of the trailer as the uh, leverage to push down on this. Okay, now this is a four wheel driver's trick. When you're out on the trail and you get a flat tire, you're going to break the bead down. Get out your high lift farm jack here, and I'm going to jack under the trailer to use the foot to push down the tire and hopefully break the speed. Of course, this is going to be in the way. Hopefully the trailer is heavy enough to do this. keeps falling down but it's starting to get a little annoying. I got some tension on this. I'm going to try to whack it with a dead blow and see if I can get the pop. Come on, bees. Come on. I'm sure it doesn't help it being super cold out. Okay, I went and I got a tire spoon that I had when I did my tractor tire on my doodle bug. Let's see if this will help. You can probably beat on it back here and help push the beat, maybe. Oh, there we go. Bam, just like that. Ow! Damn it. Damn! Don't let the freaking high lift jack smash your thumb like that. Son of a bitch, that hurt. Woo! Ah! Gonna feel that in the morning. Mother pus bucket. Damn! Damn, that hurts. Woo! Shit! Ah! 
Oh, that hurts. Fucker. Ah. All right, now that we got our bead broke, kinda. Ooh, that hurt on my thumb. I can get this tire spoon in here. Give me some room to work. I'm gonna have to get down under here and lift the tire up just a little bit, so I can get the uh, the tool down there. I'm gonna get a little piece of uh, two by four or something just to prop in here, so I can get my uh, wrench down there and cut this valve stem off. Ow! Look at that! Oh, it swelled it right up. That's no good. That is no good whatsoever. Whew. Ooh, it hurts. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Not good. Not good at all. I forgot these farm jacks are dangerous and they'll smash the crap out of your hand. That was really bad. I shouldn't have had my thumb there like an idiot. Because now it hurts really bad. Ah. So I'm going to take a razor blade and cut this old bell stem off of here. So I don't cut myself and have another freaking problem. There we go. Pulled the old sucker out right there. Now on valve stems, you got two types of valve stems. You got your standard rubber valve stem, which you'll see on any type of car where it's all rubber. It's got a little bit of brass Schrader valve in the center of it here. And you just pull it through the wheel and it seals right with the rubber here on this groove. But on my trailer where this thing sits outside all the time, um, the problem is it's all dry rotted right in here where the stem is and then the air is leaking out. So, and also, this is a regular sized car which has got the smaller diameter rubber and my trailer wheels are the bigger rubber. So what I got is I bought these uh, steel valve stems. They're uh, five bucks a piece at the trailer store and they have a nut and a washer here which comes off. You stick it through the wheel here and then you take this. There's an, there's an Allen on the back side. You put this in the tire and the wheel and take a wrench and you crank it down like this and it expands that rubber and seals the wheel there but this is all steel sticking out. So I bought four of these. I think this will, will be a lot better for my trailer. So let's go see if we can get them in there. I'll take the new valve stem, take off the, the nut. If I can get it off, I can't because my fingers smashed. Come on. There we go. I'll take the nut and the outer washer off. Stick this up right through here. I kind of nests up through the hole. My rims are fairly new, so there's not really any rust or anything corrosion around the valve stem. But if there was on an old rim, you'd want to use a file or something and sandpaper clean up the rust around there, or else you wouldn't get a good seal. And I don't have any uh, like bead sealer, but that also be something good to put on there just for extra insurance that you won't have a leak. I got the Allen key. If I can get that up in there somehow. Okay, got it. Alright, bam, so that's got it. All I gotta do is go inside. I'm gonna put a little soapy water around the bead of my tire and I'm gonna air it back up with the air compressor, pump it up to 70 pounds. That's what I run my E rated trailer tires at, and the thing will be good to go. And I think later when my thumb gets better, I'll do the other three wheels, but not today because this thing's killing me. It's gonna pop. Boom! All right, so what did we learn today? We learned number one, we can use leverage to break down a tire and put in a new valve stem. We learned we can use new fancy metal stems and won't dry rot. 
We learned that the farm jack will absolutely smash the living crap out of your thumb and put you in pain the rest of the weekend. And sometimes it's easier just to pay a tire shop like five, ten bucks a tire to do this. Because we almost had hospital stay, but not quite. I can still give you the thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell for your alerts. Tell your friends. And we'll see you right back here at the Quick Speed Shop. With more fixing stuff in the driveway, in the cold, smashing thumbs, building hot rods, whatever else is going on here at the Quick Speed Shop.